hello friends welcome to selenium tutorial uh, this is video 7 of this selenium tutorial series and uh, in this video i will talk about cross browser testing in selenium web driver that is how we can launch um, browsers like firefox chrome and ie from properties file uh, before moving to this topic let's talk about what is cross browser testing so Now, what do you mean by cross browser testing is, let us say, and let us say this is my selenium framework, So this is my selenium framework and on this framework let us say I have a properties file. I have a properties file. So now uh, let us say I want to execute the selenium code on uh, multiple browsers that is uh, I, I want to run my application. Mozilla Firefox, I want to run my application on Google Chrome or on Internet Explorer or on Edge browser or on Safari browser, right? So like uh, whenever the application is released into the, into the production, the compatibility with various browser is checked, right? Uh, like for most of the projects which are um, user facing where um, like a user login and something like so for those uh, a web application we need to perform a cross browser testing that is a browsing and that is a testing on multiple browsers like uh, let us say I have Firefox and then I have Chrome I have IE or Edge, Edge browser and I have Safari browser. So let us say my application is going to release. So I need to perform a testing of the application on multiple browsers like Mozilla Firefox, Google Chrome, Internet Explorer or Edge and Safari. Right. So in order to achieve that in order to achieve that what, what we'll do is we will not go and change the code change the code multiple times for each browser right instead of that what we will do is we will use a properties file we will use a properties file so in this tutorial we'll talk about how we can use a properties file to launch a multiple browsers that is uh, firefox chrome ie age whatever that means let's talk about cross browser testing in selenium web driver so uh, to to know more about my earlier videos you can refer my blog that is testautomated.in and here you can go to selenium web driver so for selenium web driver you can find you can find my various tutorials and uh, videos are uh, embedded in each tutorial right so you can find all tutorials on this page and as well you can go to youtube and just search for my name you can find my channel this one the first one and in this you can find go to playlists and you can find selenium tutorials as well you can find a tosca tester tutorial so this tosca tester tutorial is an automation tool uh, where no programming language is required this is just a drag and drop tool now coming to our topic so cross browser testing so let's go to eclipse directly and let me create a class so uh, cross cross browser test and I want a main method in it 
fine so make sure that your uh, selenium jars are included in your project now along with this what we need is we need a properties file so how to create a properties file you can refer my earlier videos for this detail so just go to file and file name is let us say I'm giving it as a config dot properties and inside the properties file I'm giving something like I'm giving here browser is equal to Firefox then I'm giving browser as equal to chrome and browser is equal to ie so this is what I'll give so and and properties file you know um, we can comment by using hash so at a time I can use only <coughs> one browser so I can use browser is equal to Firefox or I can use browser is equal to chrome or I can use browser is equal to ie right we can use this browser simultaneously in our test engine.xml so we will cover this in one of the coming video so as of now I'll keep browser is equal to let me keep it as a chrome because my firefox will not work because of the versioning issue let me keep as a browser is equal to chrome now I'm done with my configuration properties file now so what are the steps first step is create properties file so let's go and create a properties file so how we can create a property file is create object of properties properties prop is equal to new properties just import the properties from java utils class now what we are doing is we are you importing a properties file uh, that is this file so we we are dealing with file so let's go and create a file file is equal to file path is equal to new file and the file path so my f let me get a file path from here so this is my file path let me paste it here and note that it works only with double slash import a file from java.io and this now what we can do is we can create a file input stream file input stream fis is equal to new file input stream and file path right so I have explained this in my last video like what and all, what are all these things so you can just go through this so just throw an exception file not found now what we can do is we can load the file prop dot load and my file input stream is fis so we are done with loading the file throw an exception again now what we need to do, do is we need to read the properties file read properties file so how we can read the properties file let me create a string mm, browser string browser name is equal to now how we can get a properties value value from the property <coughs> and properties the values are stored in key value pair so this is a key and this is a value so I can retrieve the value of the browser from here by using the key as a browser so let's go here and find out the browser name by using prof dot get property and key is browser so this is how I'll get a browser name let me print the browser name browser selected is browser name right now 
what I need to do is I need to uh, have a switch case or if fail statement so that if my browser and properties file is Firefox then it should open a Firefox browser or if it is a Chrome then it should open a Chrome browser if it is IE IE then or, or else Safari right so this is how I need to code so there are two approaches I can use a switch case or I can use a if else statement right okay so so we have created a properties file we have added a browser in a key value pair over here so these are the browsers added in key value pair then we have uh, read the properties file so this is where we read the properties file and we got the browser name in browser name variable and then now we will launch the browser based on the value now <coughs> sorry how we can do that let me take if else statement if browser name dot equal ignore case if my browser is equal to Firefox then what should happen then it should select web driver driver is equal to new Firefox driver and let me navigate to some website so I will just navigate to this site and driver dot navigate dot to this right so this is if my browser is Firefox and else else if if browser name dot equal ignore case if it is Chrome then what should happen it should open a Chrome browser so uh, we saw in my earlier videos for opening the Chrome browser you should set a system property so system dot set property and the property is it is web driver dot chrome dot driver so this property we need to set and the value should be the uh, chrome driver so I have my chrome driver in my C drive so I'll just copy this path and so now chrome driver is set so now simple web driver or what I'll do is I will defend this web driver driver on the top so that I need not to define it multiple times driver is equal to new chrome driver now and I will navigate again to the same site by using a chrome driver if it is IE then what you can do is you can repeat the same part for IE for Internet Explorer and the location should be your IE driver server right and this should be Internet Explorer driver let me save this okay now what we have done is we have created a properties file we have loaded a properties file this is the properties file from this properties file uh, as of now this chrome is uh, browser is equal to chrome is enabled we have got the values of this properties uh, uh, browser into variable browser name and based on the value we are selecting a browser and navigating to the website that's what we are doing uh, I guess we are done let's try let me run this as a java application ok it is saying file not found ok there should be properties
okay browser selected is chrome so we got the value from the properties file now let's wait till our chrome browser opens and navigate to the this website testautomator.in so we are in this loop now okay chrome has opened so if it is opening first time it will be uh, a bit slow now it has na it is navigating you can see it is loading and it is loading to testautomator.in right so this is how we can open this browser chrome and let me show you for ie so what i'll do is i'll disable this uh, chrome and i'll enable ie i'll close this let me run this test again now this time <coughs> my ie should open sorry now you can see browser selected is ie now you can see ie has opened over here you can see it is navigating to test automated dot in selenium web driver tutorial right so i'll just close this and in the similar way we can navigate to the firefox browser right so this is how we can control a browser from a properties file and by using if else or you can use a switch case simply right so well that's it i have for this tutorial launch a browser uh, based on the properties file that is cross browser testing in selenium web driver so what you can do is in your um a final up uh, like whenever you do cross browser testing you can simply update a properties file by or you can simply comment out and comment in this browser value accordingly your uh, application will work on the desired browser which you have selected in properties file okay so that's it i have for this tutorial uh, keep watching my blog do subscribe thanks